I think it's important to talk about overvaluation. A, a lot of businesses that I see on an ongoing basis, they come in for investment capital, we look at the business, and they set their valuation at a certain price, but they don't understand how much they're gonna end up selling their business for down the line, right? So, and most investors and most accelerators and mentors and all this sort of thing, they say, you don't need to know that right now, you're gonna sell it for as much as you can later on down the line. The problem with doing that is that if you don't have some sort of an idea in the first place, two things happen. The first thing that happens is maybe at the very beginning, you start out with like a $5 million valuation and then you raise 2 million. Now you have 7 million, the investors want two to five X on that. So a lot of the entrepreneurs are thinking, oh, you know, I'm at, I'm in it for 7 million, but they're really in it for 14 or 28 million. Uh, and what that problem with that is, is that that early in the game, when you're on your first round or maybe your second round, you haven't thought about all the rounds that are gonna be happening down the line. And if you haven't thought about that, you can get into a position where you're overvalued. The second thing is not understanding down, down the line again, if your ideal customer profile, your, your, sorry, your ideal acquirer profile is a certain company and then you look at their history, which you should do when you go through their ideal acquirer process to, to figure out who these acquirers are, you can see a history, you can find this in Crunchbase and a lot of other places where you can see the business buying other businesses. You can see a pattern. They have not never bought a business over 25 million, 50 million, something like that. And so if you don't think about that early on, you can get into a position where you, your investors already expect more than it looks like you're gonna be able to sell your business for. Now they're gonna stop making investments into your business, the money will dry up, and a lot of businesses go out of business because of this. I hope this helps everybody.